In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a really simple assignment in Schoology. For Schoology assignments, students can upload their final product and they can also use the OneDrive Assignments app feature if you attach a document, but you can also have the students just type out a response directly into Schoology. So what you can do for this type of assignment is go to the folder where you want the assignment to appear. So let's say, for instance, we want it to appear in this particular week's folder and I'm going to click on the green dotted line right underneath it and I'm going to click add an assignment. So you're going to name your assignment and this is called the Halloween story journal activity. And then in this, the description, I'm going to give the students instructions as to what they're going to do, which I've already typed out, and I'm just going to copy in here. So for this assignment, they're going to write their own story using the writing prompt below. Your story should have at least two paragraphs be creative. Now, something to include if this is new to your students are some instructions on how they're actually going to submit this. So in order to submit their story, they're going to click on the Submit Assignment button on the right, which will be viewable to the students after they click on your assignment. And then they're going to click the Create tab. They're going to type their paragraphs in the box provided. So here is the story prompt that they're going to get. You can also include images and other things if you want to jazz this up a little bit. So I have saved an image to my computer that I can also include on here just to make it look a little bit um, jazzier for the students. So I have a picture of a haunted house that I'm going to include in here and you can adjust this. Um, the only way to really move pictures within here is to use the alignment tools. So I'm going to align that picture. So here is their story prompt and that's all I'm going to put in there. I'm not going to use OneDrive assignments for this. You are going to pick a category and you can put, you should put a due date so that it shows up in the student calendar. You don't have to assign a point value if you're not going to grade this. And then I'm going to uncheck this because I'm not going to have this sync to the gradebook. And then there's really nothing else that I need to put in here. So I'm going to click Create. So you'll be able to see it here from what it looks like on the teacher end, but you're not going to see this, uh, how the students are going to submit it. So what I'm going to do is jump on over as a student in this course, just so you can see how the students are going to submit this and how simple it is to do this type of activity in Schoology. So you are now viewing the Schoology course that where I just created that assignment and I'm in as a student in this course. So in order for the student to access the assignment, they're going to go into the folder where you created it. So here's our Halloween story journal activity. So when I click on it now, I can get all the instructions that my teacher has put in here and I can get the story prompt and my instructions here tell me, click on the submit assignment button on the right. So now that we're in as a student, we can actually see the submit assignment. So I'm going to click submit assignment. And now you can see this is the window that pops up for them and the instructions told them to click the Create tab. So they can click the Create tab, and this is in this box, they can type in their two paragraphs from the story prompt and submit it right here. If they're not done with it and they need to come back to it, they can save this as a draft, and then they can come back to it another day or later in the day, and they can submit it. But this is a really simple way to give the students an assignment, particularly at the elementary level, where they don't need to go outside Schoology to complete their assignment. This is a great assignment tool to use if the students are just need to type, but they also have the ability to insert images and other things as well as you get more comfortable using Schoology. So the students can just submit by typing in their paragraphs here. They have formatting tools that they can use, and then they will click Submit and you will be able to grade it. So I'm just going to click Submit on this just so you can see what it looks like from students, from a teacher standpoint once a teacher, once a student has submitted it. So now I have popped back on over to the, I'm going to pop on over to the, the teacher view of this, and I'm just going to refresh my screen. So you can see here now, when I go to this assignment, when I go to my course and I click on the assignment, anybody who has submitted theirs will show up on the right hand side. So I'm going to click on this and you can see underneath it, by the way, it says to return files to students, please attach them to comments by clicking on a student's name in the submissions area above. So I'm going to click on this student. And you can see here, I can see what he wrote. 
and if I needed to add a comment, I could add a comment here. If I wanted to add a verbal comment or a video comment, I could do that. You also have a drawing feature over here. So if you wanted to highlight or point out anything, you could actually draw right on this. And then I can post this and then the student would be able to see any instructions that I have given them here. If I need to go ahead and grade this, this is not actually a graded assignment, so I don't get an option to grade this over here. And then if I want to exit out of grading this or viewing this, I would be able to click on this and the student would be able to see any annotations or anything that I have given them comments on so that they could go ahead and continue reworking on this.